Hey guys, I'm Nice Mark, and today I want to explain how and why the data update detector works. So before I start, if you haven't seen the data update detector video first, then you should really check it out, because else you're going to have no clue what I'm talking about. Alright, so now let's start. I think it is similar to the rest reduction chic, which I showed you way back in July last year, and the chic is that you have a power rest line like this. And, and what you have to do is push a solid block over this redstone. And now the redstone gets redirected, and as you can see, it is powering this block, but the lamp is not powered. So what we have to do is update the lamp for it to realize that it is being powered. Now, if we recheck the block, as you can see, it should be no longer powered, but it is still being powered. And again, to make it realize that it is not powered, we need to update it again. And in this case, what we have here is a chest with an item inside, and compared to taking an output from the chest. And if we push a solid block on top of the chest, then the comparator still stays on, while it shouldn't. So if we update it, it turns off. If we check, if we check the block, and update it again, it turns on. Now, in case you didn't know, if you have a solid block or a cat stick on top of a chest, then you can't open this, the chest, which means you can't take a comparator output from it. Alright, so now that, now that I've explained how it works, let's move on to why it works. So, one of the questions that you might have is, why does the data update detector detect some things that a normal bot doesn't? Why doesn't the bot detect those things? And the answer is simple. So there are block updates and there are comparator updates. So as you might know, block updates update blocks, obviously, and comparator updates update comparators, only comparators. So yeah. Well, if you paid close attention to all of the blocks that the dot detects, then you could have noticed that almost all of the blocks there, um, you can take a comparator output from them. So this also explains why uh, the data update detector also detects data updates one block away, or actually comparator updates, but I'll get to that in a second. It's because you can take output from one block away one walk away like this. Alright, so um, why are the notebook and the sign detected? I mean, you can't take a, a comparator output from them, so why are they detected? Well, I asked the code reader for some help, and he looked into the code for me, and we figured out something interesting. So, I guess I'll keep it simple in the video, but if you want to know a little bit more about this, then I'll put uh, everything about it in the description. Alright, so, if, if I'd say it's simple, it's coded like that. It's just coded that when you um, Place, uh, when you change the pitch in the node block, it sends a comparator update. It's just coded like that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. Don't ask me. But yeah. So simply speaking, it's coded like that. And again, if you want to learn a bit, of, a little bit more about it, then you should check the description because everything is writ written there. All right. So now that's basically it. And before I leave, I'd like to ask you guys for your opinion. So as you might know, I called it the tile and CFD detector first, and now I called it the data update detector. And well, I don't really want to say it, but I kind of want to uh, rename it again, I guess. Uh, well, you know, like... Uh, the block update detector is called like that because it detects block updates. And since there are comparator updates, why not call it the comparator update detector? 
I mean, well, it's not really a tyrant step detector because it doesn't take, detect all tyrant entities. It only detects tyrant entities which update um, comparators. And the database detector, well, I, I didn't know about this. Um, but, well, maybe it will work. But for me, the comparator the detector is the best solution. But before I go on and rename it again, I'd like to ask you guys for your opinion. So please let me know what you think about it in the, dis uh, or not in the discussion, but in the comments. So what you can vote for is the Tyrant Ship Update Detector, the Data Update Detector, and the Comparator Update Detector. Alright, so yeah, that's that. Now, if you have any more questions about the data update detector or the tyrant ship update detector or the comparator update detector, well, call it whatever you want, uh, then feel free to ask me in the comments. And if you need any rest on help or any advice, then also uh, don't be afraid to ask. I, I will be happy to help you. And yeah, don't forget to leave your comments about what you think it should be called. Alright, so yeah. Now the last thing I would like to do is, well, I guess um, I'd like to apologize because there was, uh, well, not some, but a lot of mistakes um, It's in this video. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to record it for like I don't know, 50 times now, like I make a small mistake and then no, then I, I need to restart and try to record again. But yeah, I hope you understand. Uh, now I can't really try to re-record -re any more times. It's just, uh, no, I can't, I can't speak anymore. All right. All right. So this video is getting a little bit long. So I guess it's about time to end it. Again, don't forget to leave your opinion in the description. De oh, I said description again. Sorry, comments. And if you have any questions, ask. If you need any help, also ask. And yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.